Hello Johnson & Pruka Halls, Hall Director Mitchell here, and here are some updates for this upcoming week. So Monday, October 9th, marks the start of week number 6. So there are 16 total weeks in the semester, 15 weeks of classes, plus one week of finals. So tomorrow is week number 6. Um, just keep that in mind that there are 16 weeks total. So it may feel like you have a lot of time to make up ground in a certain class, um, and you still do at this point in the semester, but know that the semester does go by pretty fast. So tomorrow starts week number six out of 16 weeks total. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your academics. If you participated in the academic challenge we did, you received an email last Thursday about uh, participating in a pizza party. So all the people who are participated in the academic challenge will get to be part of a pizza party. So if you did the academic challenge, check your email. You'll have an email from me asking what time works best to be um, a part of the pizza party as a way to celebrate um, and to acknowledge your participation in the academic challenge. So there's a policy in the residence halls related to how much your door can be decorated or covered. So residence hall doors cannot be covered more than 30% of the entire door. So with Halloween coming up, there's a lot of decorations going up. And just a reminder that it's a policy violation if more than 30% of your door is covered. So take a look at your door. Um, we're not necessarily going to take a ruler and measure it and find out if you're exactly at 30% or below. But if it looks like it's more than 30%, um, that could result in being a policy violation, so take a look at your doors. If you have decorations up and you need to remove some, I would do that sooner than later. An update on the Johnson Blu-ray room or multimedia room. So a few weeks ago it was brought to my attention that the room was becoming very dirty. Uh, students or residents were leaving trash in there, not treating it very well, so we locked it for a few days. We are going to reopen up the Blu-ray room, multimedia room, but if the room continues to be in bad shape, uh, with people leaving trash and garbage in there and not picking up after themselves, um, the room will become permanently locked 24-7, and we will move to a checkout system where you'll have to check out a key to use that room. So I would like that space to be open to all of our community members, but if certain community members can't treat the room with respect, then it's going to result in the entire community um, not being able to use it, which I think is a shame because um, it's available to all students and I would hate for a f select few to ruin the experience for everyone. If you have an issue in the residence halls and you can't find your RA, you can call the duty phone. The duty phone is posted on most of the exterior doors of both Johnson and Pruka. Please do not text the duty phone as we do not respond to text messages. Please always call. Mark your calendars for Friday, October 27th the Johnson Pruka Hall Council is hosting a Halloween party, and we would love for as many of you to come as you can. So Friday, October 27th, it's going to be in the Johnson basement. Uh, more specific details to come, but put that on your calendars. Uh, wear your costumes if you want, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a productive week, and I hope you study hard and focus on your academics. I also hope to see you at our community dinners, again, Tuesday and Thursday nights from 5 to 6.30. We have the Falls Room reserved in the Dining Center, so make sure you join us there. It's a guaranteed place to sit, and you get to sit with your fellow Johnson Pruka community members, and it's a lot of fun, and um, a lot of people are attending, so we hope that you'll join us. All right, have a great week, and I'll see you next time.